the psalmist reminds us when he said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. I am sure that you and I can join with the psalmist and testify to the goodness of God in our lives. God is good. And someone said, and it is true, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. It is good for me to be with you this day and to share with you a little from the Word of God. But before I do that, I would like to remind you of the song that Henry wrote. And he wrote the song based on Matthew 16, 24, where it says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. That song has a title, Jesus, I my cross have taken. The first stanza he wrote, he said, Jesus, I my cross have taken all to leave and follow thee. Destitute, despised, forsaking, thou from hence my all shall be. Perish every fond ambition, all I have sought and hope and known. Yet how rich is my condition, God and heaven are still my own. And I can say, God and heaven is my own and your own who knows Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior also. Well, like I said, it is good to be with you and I am anxious to share with you in these devotions that we are looking in the book of Matthew and learning a little bit about John and his preaching. And I want to build on that. May I read for you the first 12 verses from the book of Matthew, reading from verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leaden girdle about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruit meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, That God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand. And he will truly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable 
fire. This account that we have before us this morning, I've been sharing with you in our last devotions, and we are at the point where the Pharisees and the Sadducees came to John's baptism to be baptized. Now, the thing about that is that they wanted to be baptized without repenting. And John made them to understand that there is no free pass. Everyone that comes must come the same way. So John is saying to them, don't think you are secure because you may see yourself as the seed of Abraham. That will not provide for your salvation. Being a descendant of Abraham is not a free pass for you or for anyone into the kingdom of God. The Jews believed they were free because they were Abraham's seed. Listen to who John was speaking to and come to him for a baptism. In the book of John chapter 8, verse 30 to 33, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said John to those Jews who believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, we are Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou that ye shall be free? Jesus is in their presence. He's speaking to them how they can become free. And you know, they withstood Jesus and telling him, Hey, we are from Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. They misunderstood the whole purpose of being the seed of Abraham. Come back with me to John chapter number 8, verse 39 and 40, as Jesus continues his conversation with them. Notice what happened. After Jesus spoke to them, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. In other words, Jesus is saying to them, when Abraham heard the truth from God, he did not behave like you. And now you are saying that you are Abraham's seed, but you're surely behaving different to Abraham. What had happened with these Jews is that they had mixed up salvation with being a seed of Abraham. They figured because they were the descendants of Abraham, then they were free. They were saved. They didn't need nothing more. But John wrote to the Romans, and, and he said in chapter 4, verse 1, What say ye then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, had found? He asked them the question. But as we continue to read from verse 11 on to verse number 16, the scripture said, And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he hath, yet being uncircumcised, that he might be the father of them that believe, though being not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Look at verse 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had been yet 
uncircumcised. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be ears, faith is made void and the promise made of none effect, because the law worketh wrath. For where no law is, there is transgression. Therefore it is a fate that it be by grace. To the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Would you believe? My time is up for this morning. But I'll be back next morning to share with you a little more about what's going on with Jesus and the, the Jews who believe that they were all right because they were the seed of Abraham, because they were circumcised. They believed that they were all right. Let us pray. Father, this morning, thank you for your word. Thank you for the privilege to be able to share your word. And for every listener that listened to your word, I pray you'll bless their hearts. Lord, I'm asking you that you would impress upon the hearts of many to share your word with many others. And that those who may not have an understanding of this portion of scripture would get a clearer understanding. And those who do not have a clear understanding of this subject will have a clear understanding. I love you. I praise you. Your people love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You do have a great day as you share with others. Talk to you next morning.